business partner working in ING Bank. ING Bank is a, a Dutch bank. In Asia Pacific, we cover 14 different countries. My role as a business partner, I take care of two of the very uh, important units. One is risk, one is uh, sectors, business, so front office and back office in these 14 countries. What do I do as a business partner? I am working in a team of uh, three. So all the business partners will be involved in employee engagement, talent management, leadership and development, uh, performance management, those kind of topics that's very important uh, for the people strategy for our business. I have to say it changes in different stage of this pandemic. At the beginning, it's really about how do we um, get the organization and our people ready to, to start working from home. So it's really about organizational readiness, uh, the technology that's behind it, um, how flexible people are, and how do you build up a, a new working environment at a different uh, location. Often at home with kids running around doing homeschooling. So this is really about the readiness of the organization and the readiness of the individuals. In the second stage, when people are already working from home, then it's the flexibility that you demonstrate. How do you take care of every aspect of your life, of your family, uh, of your individual experience? to be able to also accommodate uh, the working life at a very different setting. So technological uh, savviness, that's something uh, everybody experiences, as well as how do you arrange your new um, life routine from Monday to Friday, or maybe from Monday to even Sunday. The other thing at a later stage when everybody has established their routine, so at a stage three, it's really about, okay, so individually you have established the routine, but does your colleague know about it? So on my side, I experience very much of an awareness, how do I deal with a colleagues that's in a different situation than myself? So really put myself into their shoes, whether this is the good moment to, to have a call, to answer email, to expect them to really um, get back to me as what they usually would uh, when in the office. So this is really a big learning for me as well, to be able to synthesize and emphasize on my colleagues, uh, to sort of have a, a mutual understanding what we can expect from each other and how can we take our collaboration into a workable arrangement. So. Once I establish that understanding and uh, agreement with my colleagues, the next challenge or learning is, okay, as a team, how do we work together with each other? Having this effective collaboration during the pandemic when you're working from home. So that requires everybody has a collaborative uh, agreement how we work with each other. So what I notice is me and my colleagues Usually we use emails very often, but that's not the most effective way for me to communicate. The way of communication is so important, depends on what kind of message, what kind of questions that you have, what kind of situations you are. So we, we distinguish our communication by email, by phone call, by WhatsApp chat, by uh, a virtual, let's say, a video uh, uh, conference. So in very different ways, we connect in the different uh, levels to be able to still have our work effectively done, to be able to respect each other's space and uh, uh, time arrangement uh, to deliver the, the most optimal result. And happier people, happier company, that's for sure. It's uh, also a challenge for HR professionals to really look into the, the employee engagement during the pandemic. Within our company, we have done it very well at the beginning to having um, our care package very early during the days into pandemic to be delivered to every each one of us in our home location. So that really boosted uh, our employee engagement as well. 
now into a later stage in the pandemic what is important for organization to keep our employees engaged and happy i think larger part of it apart from the managers continuously caring for their people reaching out to their teams but larger part of it is also how an organization can demonstrate their flexibility to accommodate people's needs and i think one key thing is when every company is looking into our governance policies, how do you demonstrate the flexibility to accommodate people's needs? So uh, a much more flexible benefit scheme, a much more flexible HR policies regarding uh, going back to work, being able to stay in the uh, uh, home office, how do we combine working from home and working from office? That's a key thing. So apart from policy point of view, um, another thing very important that I want to mention is also once you are going back to work from the office, how flexible can you be to be able to accommodate everybody's different rhythm to introduce the work from office back to everybody's work life frame? That's going to be uh, another thing to look into. How can you be flexible while working in the office is uh, going to be the key to invite a lot of people back into the office as well.